uh, I just wanted to show you something I installed on my Ubuntu machine. It's Hi, a I'm Josie Marin, and I play Mia and Need for Speed Most Wanted. Make sure you do all your racing in the game. On the streets, drive safely and responsibly, and wear your seatbelt. Okay, so we got cut off by that intro there by Mia. Um, anyway, this is Need for Speed. Uh, most Wanted Black Edition. And it's a, an older game, but it still works quite well on uh, on PC. Now I'm running this under Wine on an Ubuntu machine. I was able to install it, no problems. As you can see, it's uh, running perfectly. This is just the intro. I'll let it play because it's uh, interesting to watch. And uh, we'll try some quick racing and, and just kind of explore the game. Apparently this was a rare edition of Need for Speed. I don't, I'm don't. i not really sure. Um, I like it because it's one of the best graphics games that I was able to run on my older laptop. And uh, there it is. So 2005. So it's, you know, we're looking at a game that's 14 years old. It's uh, almost hard to believe. 14 years old. Still ex extremely fun. Okay. Now I have to do something about the sound because I have a feeling that I'm going to have problems with YouTube. Um, it's going to cause problems with the, um, what do you call it, um, you know, the uh, copyright. So I turned off the audio there. Uh, we'll keep the sound effects on. Hopefully that little blurb uh, didn't affect anything on YouTube. I'm not even sure what song that is. There, There's different tracks, and I'm not sure whether they're... Um, their copyright or not, or if they're you know their actual songs licensed to to this game or no. Okay, uh, except here we go. All right, so let's get back out. Video. I'll just show you the options. I'm I'm running at a pretty high level of detail. We're gonna go to let's get out of the options menu. All right, and let's try to do a quick game. I, I believe you can play on the LAN which is also awesome because you can have several people install it and uh, you'll be able to um, you know all race each other. So let's do a quick race. Custom race. We'll just do a quick play see what comes up. So there's different cars you can pick as you can see there. I'll, I'll just race with that one for now. So here's loading. There's the car. Alright, and here we go. And we're racing. Now I can change my view. I'm just gonna let me just try to get uh oh. Blown engine. Gee, how does this work? Uh okay. Hold on. Quick play. Hmm. Okay, what's this? Circuit, handling, acceleration. Here, let's randomize. Cobalt. Why did I blow that engine? Did I not? Uh, it, was it manual transmission? I thought it was auto. Anyway, maybe I have to change it to manual. I probably over RPM the thing. Alright, anyway, let's try this Lexus. Hopefully it's auto, because I don't want to start shifting gears here. I believe is V? No, C. V. I guess not. I'll try C. I think that's the view menu. Yeah, there's the, the driver view. There's with the, uh, in the car. There's the car outside. And then here's a bit further back. So, I mean, it, unfortunately, it's a, uh, whoa. Unfortunately, it's, uh, 4-3 ratio, it's not widescreen, uh, 
but still the graphics are really smooth you have to keep in mind at the moment I'm recording all of the video um, using an image uh, the screen recorder so in addition to recording everything um, and running at one of the highest detail levels that's available on my card which remember is a uh, it's an integrated graphics I don't have a uh, you know, an NVIDIA or ATI or any other special um, graphics card. This is just onboard Intel. So I'm kind of impressed, uh, you know, for the most part. I mean, remember, it is a 2005 game, so at that time, I don't know what kind of hardware you needed to run, but it was probably very expensive. Uh, and you probably did need special, um, you know, special cards to run, but it seems to run fine under, uh, you know, on Linux, using all the built-in Wine, uh, you know, DirectX support and drivers and everything. So, and I, you know, you get reflections on the car, lots of smoke effects, uh, very good rendering uh, distance-wise, as far as, uh, you know, where we're, how far up you can see. And I am not sure where I'm driving at this point, but I was on the wrong side of the highway, and I think we're back on the other side. Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna get out of this race. I want to try another random race. This is some kind of a town where you have a, a hill. And three. So it looks like a mountain back there. You see that? That looks pretty. The only thing I, you know, I'm kind of disappointed with some of these games uh, is that they don't have like a free-ranging mode. I'm not sure. Maybe there is one. I would like to drive anywhere in the city. Um, this thing puts up blocks, so if I want to go, you know, outside of boundaries, or you see that line there this, on the side? Yeah, I'll try this. See, it won't let me go through this. It puts up like a virtual barrier. Now, I'm not sure if that's just the edge of the map, and maybe that's why. Uh, otherwise, you can kind of drive all over the place. I'd like to get up up on that uh, bridge up there. I'm not sure what that is, but. I'm not sure I can do it. Oh, I see a hidden entrance here. I'm not sure what's in here. Am I in a, an underground garage? Or was this just a, a shortcut? I think it was just a shortcut through the gas station. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, restart quick to quick race menu. Okay, are you sure? Yes. Alright. Let's do another quick play. All right, and we'll try another car. That's the one I blew the engine on last time. Um, okay, let's try this golf and see. And it should randomize the track, so let's see what happens here. Where are we gonna be? Okay, we're in the city and it's raining. So you can see it's starting to get a little choppy here, right? Um, the frame rate's probably decreasing. There's way too much stuff going on. You've got several cars. You have, um, you know, the rain effect back there, which was probably doing it. Oh, you want to hit that truck. And, uh, but, you know, once I start moving, and there's a lot of objects on the screen. You know, you've got buildings, you've got a, a, a stadium. Um, there's a mountain at the back. I mean, it's, there's a lot going on. It's getting, it starts getting a bit smoother once some of these cars go out of the way here. See, now it's, uh, once you start accelerating, it gets a little smoother. And I don't know why this, but this section seems to be faster. It's not as, as choppy. So, we'll race a bit in the city. But, again, just uh, wanted to share with you, boy, what happens? ended up up here okay let's keep going um, I'm impressed with the game I, I always love the need for speed series and I was looking for more and more realistic uh, games that I could run on my on old computers and also the fact that you know I, I moved over to Linux I thought you know I would have a hard time getting any gaming whatsoever thankfully with things like wine and also play on Linux uh, a lot of games are available and will run. There's there've been huge 
improvements and support. I'm not sure if the latest stuff will work because of certain hardware, driver issues and so on. Um, but definitely a lot of the older games that are still very interesting and fun to play uh, do work. So it's kind of a hit or miss. That's the risk you take. You know, you're not going to necessarily shell out you know, 50 to $100 on a game and then end up not being able to play it. Steam um, you know, doesn't have support for all of these games either on Linux. Because you can install Steam for Linux and then when you try to install some of the games, they don't work. Um, I'm not sure why, because you could actually run them directly under Wine, but you'd have to use the DOS version. So it could have been that the people at Steam just didn't just, uh, bother to uh, figure out how to patch it properly, or they don't want to use third-party tools that are not um, under their control. You know, which Wine, I'm sure, you know, they, Wine may have certain things in it that Steam is not able to uh, control. They don't want stuff to break. So they'd rather have full control over some of the games, and if it's not available, then they won't uh, let you install it. Alright, so this is a little bit of view of the city. I'm going to do a, uh, a break turn right here. Alright, and let's get out of this thing. Quick to race menu. Okay, fine. Um, I guess if we can do a custom race here. Circuit, sprint, drag, lap, knockout, speed trap. Okay, let's just do a circuit. Alright, so we got um, Ironwood Estates, city perimeter, Ironwood Estates, campus way. I don't know what that is. Highlands? Unlock this track by beating Taz. Okay, so there's a bunch of other stuff here that I can't get to. Okay. I wonder what else we have here. I'm going to get out of the custom mode here and just go straight to the, what's this, career? Let's try career, see what that is. Start career, yes, okay. So here we go, we got a little animation. Your car running. Paper. I need your pink slip. Uh oh. We're about to lose the car. It's dangerous. Be careful the SWAT paint if you First, I'm going to take your ride, then I'm going to take your girl. Get ready for that. Stay focused. He's rolling on a lot of power, so wait for him to shift first. Alright. I guess we're the, in the beamer. And what's happening now? Are we racing? Attention Patrol Division, we have reported at least one Volvo Code 6 driver followed by police. Oh, yeah. Alright, okay, I guess we take over now. It's getting choppy. There's a lot going on. Racing? I'm assuming this is rendering now. It's not no longer a video because uh, the resolution's higher and the frame rate's choppier. But I'm not controlling the car here. It's just running some automatic thing. Okay, that wasn't good. Maybe now I get to control it. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Oh. I skidded out there. This is a fast car. And I lost him. I don't know where he went. Um, sometimes the, the screens act, uh, move so fast I can't even see anything. Six days ago? Okay. So there's a lot of uh, movies in this game. Little scene cuts and so on. Okay. I guess that's me entering in.
That's what the police are dressed like in this town. Let me tell you what's about to happen. We're going to take your car, tear it apart, and see if it's street legal. You know, I play odds that day. Get a record out here. Looks like your racing days are over. Let me let you in on a little secret. Street racing in Rockport is finished. I've got a beautiful little surprise that's going to tear you guys apart from the inside out. Get out of the car. Uh -oh. Okay, our lucky day. Next time, you won't be so lucky. That sucks. <laughs> okay, what does this have to do with the race that I was in? Okay. Now what? I was in the middle of a race and now they're showing these animations. Okay, fine. We'll let it run. Ronnie McCree. I guess they need to build up a story, right, for the career mode. They wanna... Oh! I guess we get to race this guy. Four days ago. Okay, here we go. go. Okay, so now what? Am I supposed to be... Uh, is it gonna zoom me out of this too? I don't get it. And we have to turn. That map helps. I can never predict where we're gonna go sometimes. Alright, here we go. Oh! Sharp turn coming up. Do some drifting. Oh, and he passed me. Oh boy. Nice car. Oh, okay, let's see if I can do this. Sharp turn again. Can I make it around this loop? Oh, I think I'm I'm under at this. Wow, what's he doing? He's gone through all the stuff. What happened? Oh, the computer driver is worse than I am. There's debris all over the road, and he's beating me. I can't let that happen. I I really suck at this game. could also be because it is a little bit sluggish uh, with respect to the graphics. I, if I toned it down, it would be a little more responsive. But I want to see everything. So I'm really running behind. Not good. Not good. Good thing I don't get too much. The damage doesn't affect you too much in this game. I would be done already. Whoa. Okay, I guess I go this way. And where is this guy? Okay, 
I guess I lost. So this is how it works, the career? I guess it's a uh, restart statistic. What do I do here? Two? I don't know. Exit. Okay, resume career. All right, anyway, I'll leave the game for now, but uh, just wanted to show you, um, you know, this Need for Speed Most Wanted Black Edition. Uh, I really like it, and uh, it because it works well on Ubuntu, I'm going to, any save, sure, I want to quit. And um, just, I'm going to review some more games uh, soon. I'm going to put up another one called Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. That'll be the next video, okay? So again, I um, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.